I find bananas to be appealing. I find you to be disgusting. Back to our stupid ranks. Do you need some Corbin? I'm Rick, and you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Talk them all. It's so juicy. Now you're gonna have to clean that up. It's all over your face. Yep. And uh, take photos of us on Patreon. Follow an official Twitter account. Uh, what are we doing? Today. Do you feel it in the air? No, but I can smell it. Yeah. Yep. Smells like a movie review. Bum bum bum. Do you smell the filth? Yep. <sighs> Smells musty. <laughs> it's a gross smell. That's a. It is. <laughs> That's not. It smells musty. You know what that smells like? It smells musty. <laughs> no. Ew. Uh, but we finally, finally reviewed uh, a film that, like, I think they're all like this, but this one was high up there for a long time because we reacted to this. The Pretty trailer early on. Yeah, I remember a while back, and we were like, it was one of those, I really want to see this one. So yeah, we finally got to it. Uh, but it's called Bag Milka Bag. Which, yes, everybody, now you know why Corbinizations have been on the decline. Oh, well, if you don't, you suck. Yep, you haven't been paying attention. Go watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, we finally watched Bag Milka Bag. Is that yep. you yeah, that right? Yeah, Bag, Bag, Bag Milka Bag, which is run. Milk or run? Um, I think it's likes milk, milk. No, likes like milk, milk, like like <laughs> really likes milk. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Uh, but it's obviously uh, directed by directed by I'm not that good. Rakesh Amprakesh Mera. He also directed uh, Rang de Basanti. Rang de Basanti. Or as we like to call it here, Bang de Basanti. Like you like that. I always called it Rang de Basanti. I did. I'm the one who was. I still do that occasionally. The other day I slipped and said that and Ronnie corrected me. He says, uh, no, Rang de Basanti. But it's starring Farhan Akhtar. Yes, who we haven't been introduced to yet. Oh, wait. Well, yeah. Sorry, we no. were in uh, Debra. Yeah. But I, I didn't recognize him at all. We're gonna talk about him. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was one of those things. Um, like, whatever. We'll talk about it. But uh, the the synopsis for you, really, real quick. It is the truth behind the ascension of Milka Singh, who was scarred because of the India-Pakistan partition. Yes. Yep. And it's uh, about the flying Sikh. Correct. Sick. Sick. The flying Sikh. Like to pronounce yeah, the it. flying Sikh. Um, I've heard it both ways. I have. Apparently. I have two, but I believe yeah, I think the more common sick. original pronunciation yeah. is sick. But but yeah, I've heard it. Um, yeah, people <laughs> say that. Me like, too. This is right. This is wrong. Whatever. Yeah. But yeah, this is one of the films that people um, kept saying that is like one of the best sports movies to ever come out of India. Right. Um, but it's uh, where was it? Who who else was in this? Um, I didn't recognize too many other people. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't... Oh, well, I'll, te I'll tell you what. There were people we didn't recognize, but there were two actors who so impressed me that I did some research on them after, we wa after I watched the film because I was so impressed with how good they were. My thought was, number one, no way they're not trained. Number two, no way they haven't been working a really long time. I bet I know who it is. Yeah, and, and I was right about both of them. Uh, um, initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. This is, I really, really enjoyed this movie a lot. So did I. Um, I, I would say I, I, love, I'm glad, I love the movie. I'm glad you enjoyed it because I would yeah. have fought you oh, viciously. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> this, is, this, is one, this is one of my, not only one of my favorite films we've seen since we've been doing OSR, this is one of my, of all the, you know, there's a lot of sports films that I love. This is one of my favorite sports it films. It was a fantastic sports fantastic film. Fantastic sports And I didn't know... Film. Uh, about this guy, the flying sick, no, nope. at all. My no, my didn't. wife actually, she watched it with me. She usually does. Um, she was like, "Oh, the flying sick. Yeah, I know. I know of the flying sick. Really? She was like, I think we learned about him in school or something because wow. she knew him from the Olympics. And I was like, "Oh, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I had no idea. So this was me a completely too. fresh new story to me, me. Too. And I think it was to her. She just knew uh, of him. She didn't really know the, what happened behind him. But yeah, yeah. This film 
was so good all around. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I really enjoyed from the from the acting to the writing to the pacing to the to directing the, to, the, to directing. the music. Um, there were there's hardly any gripes I have with the film outside of a few white actors. Yeah, I've uh, just got which just which, kind of, which, which is, is just part of the course. Par for the course, man. Hire me. The white <laughs> actors show up. It is a shame. Um, God, guys, awful. we've said it before. Well. We'll, we'll, we would love to come do stuff. I will work for a dollar above scale. Yep. <laughs> I'll work scale. We'll do a dollar above scale. I know Indy, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I will say, speaking of that, we'll, we'll, we'll... Also, before you yell at me, I don't cast American films, so you say you guys cast terrible Indian actors in your films. I don't cast We're films! casting directors! God, shut up! Go Already! Ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just get that out of the way right now, because the minute... They showed up on the screen. First it was the girls, and then it was the coach from Australia. Oh, oh my god. god, there they are. Oh god. However, mm. the girl who plays his romantic interest there for a little bit, she actually was, she was fine. Yeah, she was fine. Um, but compared to everybody else, yeah. it oh. was but awful. We could talk about uh, Farhad Khan. Well, let's, let's save him for the, a little uh, bit later. Okay, sure. Because we're going to probably spend a lot of time <laughs> talking yeah. about him. Okay. Uh, let, let's, let's talk about, let's, since we were talking about the actors that we didn't enjoy, let me tell you, you probably feel the same way. Mm. And again, we're, um, we will nitpick anything because what we're looking for in a film is there are some films we've seen that were pretty much perfect for us. The first one, obviously, that comes to mind is Header, where believability mm -hmm. and details are all like spot. We can't find a flaw. No. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's several films that were that way, but this one had a couple of flaws, but they make up maybe... 2% of the film, 98% mm -hmm. of it, the rest of it for me was I loved the movie. Mm -hmm. So to point these out are just to point out where it wasn't perfect. And here it was for me, and it's pretty simple. The, the, the physical altercations that took place both with the kids fighting each other and yeah. then the, the uncle kicking him mm -hmm. was not believable. Yeah. So nitpicking and the kids fighting, it wasn't believable. Mm -hmm. Other than that, but I'm, and and the other the other potential gripe I may have I don't know yet is I don't know how accurate this was to the history. Yeah, but yeah, we're not going to go off of that. We're not just, at all. We're just going off the film. So if there's inaccuracies, you can let us know. You can let us we're know. We're just going off the film. Just going off of what we know and what we saw. So um, those are my only yeah. minuscule gripes. Yeah, uh, and it, it was actually quite nice because it's a like three hour five minute film, mm -hmm. and it it. The pacing was good. You, it kept you interested. Because it, it, it could have very well been a very boring film. Uh, it, it could have been. Yeah, because a, a film about running is not a, a, off the bat interesting. There's yeah. only one other film that I've ever seen about running that engaged me and I loved and was rooting for come Oscar time, and that was Chariots of Fire. Forrest Gump. <laughs> That's not a movie about running. <laughs> Technically, it is. Uh, but yeah, I, the sport. I agree. The uh, the it was it was awesome to learn about uh, the this guy, and it was ooh painful at times because like when he stepped on whatever that rock was. Great makeup, by the way. Yeah, I thought it was a nail. Great makeup. Did you notice when they pulled the rock out, a little fresh blood started to flow from out of it? Mm -hmm. That looked really good. Yeah. Um, yeah, ouch. I was wondering, I mean, I get it. It's like, why wasn't he prepared to, he, you're going to have to wear shoes the farther up you go into the, the competitions. Yep. And so, but yeah. I wonder how, yeah, if that was all, if it was all true, if he, because natural running, that's actually the, the best way to run. Is it's barefoot, better for your feet. Uh, is to run on barefoot. But um, yeah, that was, that was really interesting. I thought the makeup was really good on that. Um, I enjoyed that part of it. Um, I would like to know, like you said, how, how much of this was accurate to his life. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of details. They covered a lot. They covered about his life. A lot, which yeah. is an interesting way they did it, is that they, they started from him losing the Rio. Right. right. And then... They went into basically why he now won't go to Pakistan. So they Correct. went. It was kind of like a. What film does that? 
is it Forrest Gump that does it? Yeah, Forrest Gump. Yeah, he, he, he goes backwards. He basically goes backwards. He starts telling his life story. Correct. And then we get to the present. Yep. Uh, which is a, uh, it doesn't happen often, but it's a, it's a nice format if you do it correctly. Correct. It can, you know, fill up a film nicely. Agreed. And uh, they did it very nicely here. Mm -hmm. I felt. I liked it a lot. The director yep. did a phenomenal, phenomenal yeah, job. Yeah, really. I was so impressed at so many places with the direction. Deeply, deeply impressed. And it doesn't surprise me because we were deeply impressed with uh, Renga Basanti. And the, before we get into our lead actor, the two other actors that I felt were flawless, just fantastic. Sartash? Yes. He looked ridiculously, ridiculously similar, similar to, similar to Sartash. Sartash. Right when he came right. on screen, I was like, that's not Sartage. It isn't, yeah. And but guys, he could, we were joking, it's not Sartage, we know. He it. could very well be his brother. Right, he could. Especially the fact that, I mean, he just, he, he really looked like He was Sartage. one of my favorite characters in the entire film. The, the, here, the two, my two favorite people in it because of their acting prowess, other than um, uh, Farhan, were his coach in the army. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's uh, Pavan Malhotra. Mm-hmm. And it, the man who played his dad okay. with the with the long beard. Oh yeah, he was great, fan fantastic. Yeah. And I, I did some research on them. The the, the 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 actor who plays his dad with the long beard, member of the Royal Shakespeare Company. Not a shock. <laughs> yeah, that guy was. And they both have extensive resumes, including American films that they've been in and American TV shows. So both of those actors, it is obvious they were about as good as anything i've seen uh in supporting roles yeah absolutely i completely forgot about the dad uh he was yeah he was one of my favorites i loved him loved him he was he was so good so believable so strong yep. uh in his performance i liked really good i liked him a lot um but and yeah. other than the physical violence part of it as well i felt that the little boys uh, both um Farhan as a little boy and then his best friend. I, I felt they were really good. Mo the majority of the time they were believable. Very and I liked sweet them a lot. moment when they uh, when they got reunited. Did you yeah. cry there? Yeah. Yeah, you did? Yeah, I got emotional there. I didn't. Yeah. But <laughs> that's not really a shock anymore. Yeah. Um, but it was really it was a really sweet moment. I didn't expect that. I didn't and expect it either. For him to come back, but the, the actor did very well and it was a really sweet moment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the the guy uh, say his name? Uh, Pavan Mahotra, who plays the coach, did so. Me and me and my wife both were like, I, I love at the end. We were like, I loved the coach. Loved him. I thought he had great chemistry with mm -hmm. uh, Farhan, mm -hmm. uh, Farhan's character, um, and I thought he his performance was beautiful in the way that his character was written as well. Mm -hmm. it was really beautiful, and I, I felt that the the main ladies in the film, which would be his sister and the the, the love of his life at the beginning. Um, I felt they were solid. I didn't. I didn't find them to be as compelling to my eyes, or written to be as compelling mm -hmm. as the other two were referencing. But they did do solid work. I have no complaints at mm -hmm. all about the sister and the uh, his 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 love interest at the very beginning. Yeah, I thought the sister did very well. She, she did some, very. She well. had some really strong moments. She did have very uh, strong. Moments. But yeah. she was always believable for me. Yeah, I liked uh, one of my favorite parts was when he was putting on the jacket. Uh -huh. And you knew it was going to happen. I, yeah, I said it out loud. Yeah, you're like, they're going to come in, they're going to see you, and they're going to beat you up. But then they started, like, taking off his clothes, which is weird. <laughs> That's a weird thing to do. It is a weird thing to do. <laughs> they're just ripping off. No homo! What? <laughs> What's that all what about? What are you... <laughs> okay. Um, but, like, the... <laughs> It's so dumb. Um, but when he came in and he was yelling at him and then... Um, the, the other guy who was beating him up, and then he turned to him and he just started slapping him. And he's like, you want one of those? Mm -hmm. That can work for you, you dumbass. Exactly. <laughs> what are you putting on that those jackets for? That was Power a great person. slap, mm -hmm. by the way. I mean, that was a, that was the actors had talked about that and said, he, he gave him permission and said, slap the snot out of me. Slap mm -hmm. me hard. You think he actually slapped him? Guaranteed. You think so? Yeah. I, we're we're gonna talk about Farhan yeah. here in a moment, but I'm uh, I am. You think he? You think he? Uh, pretty sure. Him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they discussed it and discussed it with the director, and he said, "Do it." I usually I've done, it's happened a few times in films that I've been in, and I usually as long as it's for a scene that's more powerful, not just a random 
thing that you could get away with. I usually always tell them, if, not a punch, but like a slap. I'll usually tell, try to get some skin, Yeah, please. 100%. And there's ways you can do a slap um, for screen and for stage uh -huh. where you, you get, and it hurts, you get slapped, but you, you do, especially if it's a critical, important, because the worst thing that can happen in those moments is it not look real because you take away the power of the... The scene, people, suspension of disbelief is gone. Oh, they really didn't slap each other. And it also helps you as an actor as it well. Does. Like if you get slapped, uh, unbeknownst to yourself, your eyes might start welling up. Yeah. Uh, pink on the cheek. Pink on the cheeks. You feel it and you, you're, you, you, the adrenaline goes there's a, in there's your body. There's a visceral reaction. And so yes. there's, there's a reason sometimes actors will do some stupid stuff that will like, actually they'll want some, not, they don't want to get in a lot of pain, but no. they want it to. A little or to help out with the self thing. slapping. Mm -hmm. Like T Tatum Channing did that. Channing in Tatum. <laughs> not, <laughs> not Tatum Channing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Tatum Channing. <laughs> Channing Tatum yes. did that in Foxcatcher. He, when he punched himself in the face, it reminded me of that when Farhan was slapping himself in the face, mm -hmm. uh, where the actor is. And I thought about that when Farhan was slapping himself. I thought, dear Gussie, how many takes did they have to do on that one? Because there's only so many you could do before his face is going to get swollen and red. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, let, should we yeah, talk okay. about Farhan now? Mm -hmm. Could we go into Farhan? Okay. So we already knew that he was solid from Deborah. If you don't know what Deborah is, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> we already we already knew he was solid from that and then when we did some research on him we realized oh wow this guy and obviously his sister director of gully boy uh and other things uh we were like wow we want to get to know this guy he with this role alone proved to me he's an actor's actor mm -hmm. can explain that in a second and that he is one of the better actors I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. He's the kind of actor who will fully immerse himself into a role in the way that, say, a Christian Bale will in order to be believable. He reminds me the way it looks like he commits himself to every aspect of a character, the amount of work he probably does on backstory and history, but the physical transformation he will put himself through, mm -hmm. I think he's probably at the level of a Christian Bale. Oh, yeah. I agree. He he was he was so good in this one. Like I said, I didn't recognize. And I was him. just gonna tell you, halfway halfway through the film, I'm like, I've seen this guy, I've seen this guy, and I looked it up and thought, you've got to be kidding me. And looked at him again, and looked back down at my computer laptop as I'm watching the movie and thought, that's. Farhan from Deborah. Oh my goodness. Well, like if you look at this picture, this picture on IMDb, that looks like the guy from Deborah. Exactly. That's and that's probably Farhan looks more like that most of the time. That does not look like him. No. And like, let's just talk about the physical transformation he put himself through and the believability of him as a runner, because they did a lot of shots of him. Long shot, full running. He he was as believable an athlete in their profession as any sports film I've ever seen, I can't think of an athlete portrayal that's better than the way he portrayed this, the believability that he was the athlete. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Not a flaw. I don't know, maybe it's, it's, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the hair and the beard, maybe it's, because it, his face looks skinnier to me. Yeah, uh, and it is, the, it is the hair being lifted up, makes the face shape and then different. He has, a, he has a beard now, and like, and, because I, I remember, in the in the trailer, comments saying like they didn't recognize Farhan uh, or Farhan. Um, even Indians didn't recognize him because of the the transformation he took. But you know, I didn't really understand, and I didn't know until after because I knew that Farhan. I was like, "There's a new actor in here that we don't really know." Yeah, but I thought it was we'd never seen him, and then I right. looked up after, and I was like, "Me oh, too." Crap, that's the guy from Deborah. What? Right. <laughs> yeah. Who? And we we do know about his writing, his producing. Yeah, and, uh, I think he does directing as well. Yeah, and he does directing. So by by calling him an actor's actor, uh, he's the kind of actor that when you watch, you want to work with mm -hmm. because you know he's fully committed and probably a joy to work with and is a, a perfectionist. 
and will show up early on set and leave late and probably treat everybody with respect. Just you can, There's something about the demeanor of the way he carries himself in his work that shows a total commitment to what he does. Mm -hmm. um, could be wrong about some of the salient aspects of his, his uh, personality as a, as a person, but I, I just it was as impressed with him as I could be and want to see a lot more of his work. He's, I'm now as excited for him as many of the other actors that we've come to get to know. Absolutely. Uh, and you can let us know what else of his that we need to react to, because um, I know he, he has a lot on his... Uh... Oh, that was the other thing. The other thing we just recently saw him in. Hmm. He plays Priyanka's husband in The Sky is Pink. Does he really? Yes. Which he was great in. Oh, yeah, he yeah. did. Wow, yeah, he's good. He's He is... For me, yeah, he's good. He is one of the actors that I I would really. He's an actor you watch work like when you watch Brian Cranston or Jonathan Banks or Nawazuddin or Gary Oldman. You you watch these guys work and you think, oh, or Irfan or Big B, or on the ladies side of things, you watch Alia and mm -hmm. you watch Topeka and Priyanka and I watch obviously Meryl Streep and Glenn Close. You watch these women and your, your thoughts are, I, number one, I would just like to sit and watch you work. Mm -hmm. And then the, the honor of actually doing scene work with you, what that must be like, the joy of b bouncing off with people at that level. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Just, uh, he, he blew me, he really blew me away in this. Yeah, I did not realize that. Sky's pink? He, I told, well, now I remember after we watched it, I remember saying that he was in it, but I completely forgot again mm -hmm. uh, that he was actually in that. But it, it, I, uh, yeah, he was phenomenal in that. He yeah, did, he did really well. He did great in that. No, no, uh, you couldn't tell that this character was in that movie or the Deborah movie. No, <laughs> at all. No, <laughs> like it's so different. Mm -hmm. So, what if his should we watch next week? Yes, please uh, let us know. I would like to watch as him. well as any of the other work from those two gentlemen we mentioned who were in the supporting roles, and the other work of I'm I'm so impressed with. I love the score, and I really was deeply impressed with the direction. I thought the directing on the film was extremely well, yeah, good. Yeah, that director, you know, we know. Uh, and we liked Rag Vasanti. We, we thought that was a phenomenal film. Yeah, that movie was really, really good. Yeah, the uh, one of the singers in it is the uh... Shankar Mahadevan. Uh, Breathless. Ah. Oh. Although I want to know. Let me look it up. I feel like uh, the. Dun, 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 was to no, in I did too. I did too. There was a there was a point in one of the songs. I heard his. Voice. I heard his voice. Uh, well, absolutely I agree with you. Double check. Uh, it's not on IMDb, but I know his name. Mm. Oh. Still no. I could have swore I heard his name. I could have swore it was him. Maybe they sound similar because we uh, obviously just the other day we reacted to one of Shankar Madhavan's songs, uh, mm -hmm. and obviously Breathless. Uh, we've heard that one, and so we know he has a ridiculously good voice. Yeah, but I swear I heard uh, what's his name? Dollar Mendy. Dollar Mendy's voice. Uh, me too. I'm with you. There was one song that so, where I was like, "That's got to be Dollar Mendy." Let me know if I'm crazy because no. I swear. Also, I you were talking about uh, one more thing uh, <laughs> on this film. Little gripe I had. One of the races. I forget which one it was. They had a couple, I think there were two white dudes uh, racing against him, and they were in the middle, and they were like almost neck and neck with him. But they were like fat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that. They, I didn't pick up they, on that. They're like not fat, fat, but they were like out of shape, and you could tell they shouldn't be in a race with somebody that looked like <laughs> Farhad Khan. Right. Not uh, Farhad, uh, Madet, what is his name? I'm confusing people. <laughs> <No, you're> <laughs> Farhan Akhtar. <laughs> I'm confusing his name now. That's all right. At least you're not calling him Chading Tanum. That's true. Or whatever. Uh, there, like, there was like one race where like 
you could go back and you see he's he's winning, but then right behind him are these two white guys and like I didn't they see have that. like ridiculously white skinny legs and he's kind of pudgy in the middle. I didn't notice <laughs> that. It's like you couldn't have got actual runners. <laughs> I or look people that look like they're running like me with my shirt off as you've seen. Yeah, like, exactly. Come on. <laughs> no, and there's one last thing too that's obviously a a deep part of the story here, which is and was very intriguing to me. I the book I'm sure even dives into it a lot more of the centrality of this man's story and the the legit PTSD he was dealing with mm-hmm. um, of the partition. And what what happened to so many uh, when that happened and still the tensions that exist today. Um, I found that to be... I just find that whole situation that we're just still learning about to be uh, just so sad. Yeah. You know, just so, so sad. And I know there's a bunch of documentaries about when it actually happened and like the the mass migrations that happened on, on both going... Either way, depending on what your, I believe your religion was or your family was. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, all that stuff and the mass migration, the people that died from it. And the people right. That, like, it's, it's an insane thing that happened. It, it's, a, it's a real, it's a travesty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal film. I really, really enjoyed this film. I did too. Uh, I think one of my favorites. Anybody that the only reason that I wouldn't suggest is to some like an American right away, even though everything in it they could digest. I feel like yeah, is the length. That'd be the yeah, only thing. I agree with you. I just don't want them to get bored. I would say once once an American is adjusted to the runtime, to the runtimes, you this would be the one of the first ones. Absolutely, because it doesn't have. Uh, it has enough cultural references. So they can learn, but they... Yeah, they, they keep their learn, interest, yeah. but not feel disconnected. Absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. everything in this film that people could appreciate, the acting, the directing, the writing, the songs, yeah. everything in it. Uh, I, even, I even enjoyed the, 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 the song, the military song. I think it was one of the first ones when they were dancing in the military. Oh, I loved that. Yeah, I think that was a really that good That was song. a lot of fun. I, 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 and I, I love that soldier with the high screeching oh. voice. I love that guy. That was, that was weird. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like the country song. <laughs> well, you don't. You're not a fan of country, period. No one should be if it's that's what it was. <laughs> I don't know. I think I don't know how many uh, how much Indians know about country music. I'm not a fan. He's not a fan. I am. I love all genres of music. But. Uh, <laughs> That was like the most stereotypical country song I've ever heard in my life. It was. And it was like, this is what white people do. <laughs> <laughs> they dance to this weird music. <laughs> and some of them do. You're yeah. right. <laughs> blind dance, blind dancing is actually a lot of fun. Yeah, but that song was not. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, line dancing, like, there was a place in San Antonio we used to go to that was I loved to go to because they had live bands, line dancing... And then you could uh, go down the hall, and you'd walk inside, and there would be bull riding. Where was it? Uh, south of south of southeast of San Antonio, but not too far away. I forgot what the place was mm. called. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, this was phenomenal. Let us really know which of those actors we should watch next, uh, which film we should watch and review next. Would you? Where would you put this of the sports films we've seen thus far that have come from India? India? How many yeah. do we have? Well, the first one that comes to mind instantly is Chalk to India. Okay. Uh, and then we had the the. Um, Which one are you thinking of? Lagan, okay. which is for cricket. Yeah. Okay. And then, I feel like there was a, a third one we've done that is that's a sport focused. We had a field hockey. We have a cricket. Didn't we have another cricket focused one? The Akshay. What was the Akshay one? No, we haven't seen the gold. That was just the trailer. We haven't seen gold yet. I think it's it's it. Lagan was our cricket one early on. And then Chalk to India was field hockey. Mm -hmm. This was running. Why I feel like there's one more we saw that was a sport film. No, no, mm-hmm. I don't think so. Yes, I got it. What? What is it? Dongle. Oh yeah, wrestling. Yep. Oh, that's tough. Tough, isn't it? Here's the thing: 
It would, mm -hmm. That's really tough. Dongle was a phenomenal film. Dongle was great and Lagan was great. Yeah, I don't know if I could. And Chalk to India, I want to revisit. I, I really want to revisit that at some point. Yeah, that would be at the bottom for me. It, it is for me too, but I, I know that I would probably there's, like... like uh, There was too much bad acting in it. Yeah, you really there was stuff in yeah. that you didn't like. No, I agree. Um, but th I don't know this. I don't know. Dongle was phenomenal. There was. No, I'll tell you no, what. There was no weak points in Dongle either. There wasn't, but I will tell you this: as far as it pertains to an actor portraying the athleticism at a level that is impeccable, it's Farhan. Yeah, I don't know wrestling. They're wrestling enough. They, they, their wrestling is not our wrestling. I agree. So. I agree. I, I, but, I can't tell you. And I can't tell you that either. The, the experts in that. The only, the only sport that I could watch and tell you definitively if it was doing it the right way, there'd only be a couple. It'd be baseball mm -hmm. and it would be MMA. Yeah. Other than that. I don't know. You're going to have to wait for our end of year top 10 movies. And some boxing films. So. Are we doing that? Huh? We can do a top 10 list at the end of the year. We should do a top 10 of our, our top personal 10 favorites. Personal favorites. Yeah. Top 10 personal favorites. The movies. Yeah. And then our top 10 songs. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. We'll do that at the end of the year. Yeah. And then you can know which one we like best. <laughs> that's <laughs>